Next morning, Henry was enjoying himself enormously. I feel so well. I feel so well, he sang. Trickety trock, trickety trock, hummed his coaches. Then he saw some boys on a bridge. Beep, beep. Hello, he whistled. Oh, he called. The boys didn't wave and take his number. They thought it fun to drop stones on him instead. They've broken our glass. They've broken our glass, cried the coaches. The passengers weren't hurt, but they were cross. Call the police. No, said the driver. Leave it to Henry and me. What will you do, they asked. Can you keep a secret? Yes, yes. Well then, said the driver, Henry is going to sneeze at those boys. Lots of people were waiting at the station just before the bridge. They wanted to see what would happen. Henry has plenty of ashes, said the driver. Please keep all windows shut till we've passed the bridge. Henry's as excited as we are, aren't you, old fellow? Henry felt more stuffed up than excited. Soon they could see the boys, and they all had stones. Are you ready, Henry? said the driver. Sneeze hard when I tell you. Now, he said. Achoo! Well done, Henry, laughed his driver. Henry went home, hoping that next time he saw Gordon and the boys, they would have learned not to be so mean.